Well, hey everybody, I'm at Smyrna Church, and as you can see, it's a beautiful day, but there's a but. <laughs> yeah, I took a little time off, and uh, I'm gonna have to go slow today, I can tell. Man, there is a big difference in bike shape and physical shape. Huge difference, if you know what I mean. It's really big. It's taken me all summer to just get let me reach down here and grab this. Don't you fall down. My bicycle is trying to fall down. Oh, I got it. I got it where it ain't gonna go nowhere. <laughs> All right. There's a lot to talk about. I've been using uh, Bing AI. I've been actually using forms of AI for a very long time. One of my first computers <coughs> was a Ray Kurzweil 486 and it could read to me <laughs> 1995 so I've been visualizing and seeing this technology come in to help the blind and the dyslexic and learning disabled people and that's what it's going to do it allows me to write scripts make sure my title is is right and it's just it does a whole lot when it comes to being a creator. Now, I haven't dabbed off into having AI create anything like images or nothing like that. I'm just using it for grammar check, spell check, and uh, I'm getting a little bit of research off of the topic of what my video is so I can therefore phrase a better description. Phrasing is all about setting your intention what you want it to produce without good phrasing you're not going to get good response with phrasing in AI being for example it gets better it helps it there's that dang plane look at it I don't know I see the plane all the time I guess it's they just like flying around every day, especially when I'm out riding a bicycle. Ain't that something? Yeah. I'm not weird or nothing like that. I'm just saying the obvious. That's kind of weird, though. I see them all the time. And it's a gray plane. I can't zoom in on it to see no numbers or nothing. But if anybody in Springfield Air Airport knows what plane that is and why they fly, maybe they're training students and they train them during the time I'm riding my bicycle. Hey, curious minds want to know these things. <laughs> they got me off track really bad. Okay, the other one I'm using is uh, ClipChamp, and ClipChamp is able to do closed captions and subtitles. Real accurate, real, real good. I mean, you can manipulate them a little bit better than you could when it first started, but they're gonna improve that. So it just gives me another reason to be creative that's what i'm doing i'm learning what my audience wants and what people need to really understand and know about truth it's what it is so y'all keep coming back to my channel watching me experiment on new ways to make videos i got some ideas i'm gonna probably uh, make a few that's going to be interesting <laughs> i hope they are but if not they uh, it's I get a kick out of it anyway. I gotta, I gotta keep learning, you know. <laughs> Later. Well, the bright speed, high internet person was there, so I thought I'd say hi to him, ask him a few questions. You can see how close it is to the church. But uh, yeah, they got some kind of little glitch going on. He's talking on his cell phone, and holding it in one hand and trying to screw a screwdriver with one hand. Yeah, cell phones or something else. Yep, that's what's going on if you're out here and your internet's messed up. I was wondering what was in that building. You know, curious minds want to know these things. 